welcome to my youtube channel so today we'll be learning about how to solve quadratic equations using factorized method so let me write down the general equation so y equals ax square plus bx plus c where a b and c are constants so it can be any numbers so let's have a look at this picture if a is negative then we get picture which is in red and if a is positive we get picture in blue and c represent y intersect so let's start this question so we got b square plus 9b plus 20 equals 0 so we can write here 1 because 1 times b square is b square so it doesn't change anything so next step is we have to times 1 and 20 so 1 times 20 is 20 and one more thing it is plus 20 okay it's not negative so keep that in mind so now we have to find two numbers so when we times them we get 20 and when we add them we get 9 and it has to be positive 9 let's write down all the factors of 20 so we get 20 times 1 is 20 then 10 times 2 4 times 5 so we want one of these pair when we times them we get plus 20 and when we add them it has to be plus 9 so it looks like we have to take 4 and 5 because 4 plus 5 is 9 and 4 times 5 is 20 and both of them are positive so next step is we write down b plus 4 and b plus 5 and equals 0 and if you want to see whether it's right or not you can expand the brackets so we get b times b so we get b square b times 5 so we get 5b plus 4 times b is 4b plus 4 times 5 is 20 equals 0 so b square plus 5b plus 4b is 9b plus 20 equal 0 now we have two brackets so we will write b plus 4 equal 0 and b plus 5 equal 0 so we want to make b subject so we subtract minus 4 from both side so we get b equals this cancels out so we get minus 4 and here we subtract minus 5 from both side so we get b equals minus 5 so if you want to plot this on a graph it should look something like this passing through minus 4 and minus 5 and these are the roots of this equation and you can see it intersect at uh, 20 which is y intersect so let's have a look at this question and you can see it is a bit different from the previous question because we have got negative sign here so let's try this one now so we have x square minus 7x plus 10 equals 0 so we'll write one here so we times 1 and 10 so 1 times 10 is 10 and it is plus right so we'll write down all the factors of 10 so 10 is equal 1 times 10 5 times 2 so it looks like it, it is going to be 5 and 2 so when you times them you get plus 10 and when you add them you should get minus 7 but you can see if you add 5 and 2 you get plus 7 not negative therefore we have to put negative sign in front of both of them so if we try minus 5 and minus 2 then it will work and we will see now so minus 5 times minus 2 is 10 and it is plus because minus minus is plus and minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7 so this is right answer so now we write x minus 5 and x minus 2 and it doesn't really matter which one you write first you can write x minus 2 and then you can write x minus 5 it really doesn't change the answer right so we'll make it equal to 0 so same as previous question we'll write x 
minus y equals 0 and x minus 2 equals 0. So we add 5 from both sides. So we get x equal 5 and here we get x equal 2. So this is what it looks like. 2 and 5 are the roots and 10 is y intersect. Now we have got 2 in front of x square. So we times 2 and 15. So 2 times 15 and we get 30 and it is plus 30. So now we find two, two numbers. When you times them we get plus 30 and when we add them we get minus 11. So first thing write down all the factors of 30. So 30 is 1 times 30, 15 times 2, 6 times 5 and 10 times 3. It is going to be 6 and 5 because when you add them you get 11. So let's have a look. So 6 times 5 is 30 and it is plus. But when you add them you get plus 11 right which is not what we want so that's mean we're gonna change the sign so we'll try minus 6 and minus 5 so minus 6 times by minus 5 is plus 30 and minus 6 pl plus minus 5 is equal to minus 6 plus minus is minus 5 and minus 6 minus 5 is minus 11 right so it works so answer is minus 6 and minus 5 so let's write down as a brackets but now we will write 2x not x because we have 2 in front of x right so you write 2x minus 6 and 2x minus 5 equals 0 right and because we have 2 in front of x square now we divide whole thing by 2 right so you can either divide first bracket by 2 or second bracket by 2 but you can see like second bracket cannot be divided by 2 because we if you divide 2x minus 5 by 2 so that's 2x minus 5 divided by 2 so we can divide 2 and 2 so we get x and when we divide minus 5 by 2 we get minus 5 over 2 and that is not the whole number so we cannot take that so in that case we divide first bracket by 2 so 2 2 x minus 6 divided by 2 is equals x minus 3 right so we get x minus 3 and the second bracket will stay the same equal 0 right so now we make x minus 3 equals 0 and 2x minus 5 equals 0 so we add 3 from both side so we get x equal 3 and here we minus we plus 5 from both side so we get 2x equal 5 and then we divide both side by 2 so this cancels out so we get x equal 5 over 2 so these two are the roots of this equation this is what it looks like where 15 is y intersect and 2.5 and 3 are the roots of this equation so it crosses x axis so here we have got 6 in front of x square so we times 6 and minus 4 so 6 times minus 4 is minus so first thing let's write down all the factors of 24 so 24 equals 1 times 24 12 times 2 8 times 3 6 times 4 so we want to choose one of these when you add them you should get minus 5 when you times them you should get minus 24 and looks like 8 and 3 right so let's let's try that so 8 plus 3 is 11 right so that is not the right answer so now what we can do is let's change the sign so let's try minus 3 and plus 8 so minus 3 plus 
is 5 so again that is not the right answer so again okay, let's change the sign again so this time we will tr use minus 8 and plus 3 so minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5 and minus 8 times 3 is minus 24 so that means answer is minus 8 and 3 now write brackets 6x minus 8 6x minus oh sorry plus 3 right and we divide whole thing by 6 and make it equal to 0 now let's have a look can we divide a uh, first and second bracket by 6 and the answer is no none of them can be divided by 6 so what we can do in this case is let's break down 6 into uh, 3 and 2 right and now you can see first bracket can be divided by 2 and second bracket can be divided by 3 so we will divide them individually so let's divide first one 6x minus 8 divided by 2 so we get 3x minus 4 and the second one is 6x plus 3 divided by 3 so we get 2x plus 1 so this is what we get and now we will separate them so 3x minus 4 equals 0 and 2x plus 1 equals 0 so we add 4 from both sides so we get 3x equals 4 and then we divide both sides by 3 so we get x equal this cancels out so we get x equal 4 over 3 and for second one we subtract minus 1 from both sides so we get 2x equals minus 1 and now divide both sides by 2 so we get x equals minus a half and these two are the answers so this is what it looks like it crosses x axis at minus a half and 4 third and minus 4 is y intersect and these are the roots of equation